So welcome to Macro Mornings. It's been a bit of a gap, but I apologize for that. Anyway, today I wanted to show you an update we just made to the crop crossing command. It's an awesome improvement, thanks to Richard Tyndall of Patillo, uh, who asked for this change to be made. So what we've done here is we've taken what was a great command and made it better. Um, and here you can say we're going to take uh, crop the area of the contours here around the flow lines of a curb and gutter. So we're going to use a single line with offsets and we can pick the curb line or the flow line and then we can put an offset to the right 1.5 and an offset to the left minus 3 and here we're showing the line direction to show you the direction that the line is going and so you get your offsets the right way around. And then having done that you can then say um, use the entire line and then here you can pick the uh, layer that you want to select for the object so just turn off um, just going to pick on this layer right here to say we're going to use the contour layer as our uh, reference layer and say close that and now at this point here we can say remember the selection this is a new change and that allows us to remember the contours of what I want to crop out and then just hit apply and that now just trimmed out that range of the contour across the flow lines here and it jumps you automatically to the next flow line you can pick that one if it's going in the same direction you can just flip the sides for the offsets and then hit apply and that now cropped out that side of the contour. So now we can rattle through many many uh, curb flow lines and a parking area for instance getting rid of the contours across that so we can build our nice grade model going through the curb and gutter section and uh, again reduces clicks, saves time and makes a big improvement. We did make one other change here which is the extend clipping area and that was, uh, we were looking at some cross-section data the other day and the grids next to each other. This allows you just to extend it to pick the top and bottom grid lines as well as the rest of the grid lines in between two lines. So when you've got sheets where you want to split them into two columns, for instance, then you can do that with the clipping, uh, this extend clipping area function. And all it does is it just extends the clipping area by a hundredth at both ends just so it picks up any data that happens to be right across the ends of these lines here. So that's another nice little change. So for three or four major changes there that reduce pointing, clicking, saves information, and makes it a lot easier to use. But again, great uh, feedback. Thanks very much, Richard, for your input, and uh, hopefully you like the, the changes. Thank you. Have a good day.